Hello friends, welcome again to Inspire Maths. In this video, I shall familiarize you with the concept of continuous functions. I shall also explain to you the function sin x by x, its limit and its graph. I shall also explain a removable singularity and how does the graph of the function look at a removable singularity. But before we shall start, press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get the notifications of recent posted videos. So let us begin. In order to understand what do we mean by saying a function is continuous at a point, let me take some functions. As a first function, let me take, let me define f of x to be equal to x if x is less than 2 and x square if x is greater or equal to 2 and as a second function uh, let me take the second function as g of x defined by x square minus 4 divided by x minus 2 the same function which we took in limit of function part 1 and as a third function, uh, let me take the third function as fx, sorry, hx to be equal to x square plus 2. Let me examine a limit x approach to 2 in all the three functions. So, if we look at limit x approach to 2 negative fx of this function then we see that for x negatives for x less than 2 fx is defined x that means for x which are close to but less than 2 fx will be equal to that means limit x approach to 2 negative fx will be just equal to 2 and if we look at limit x goes to 2 positive apex then we see that for x greater than 2 that means for x goes to 2 positive apex is defined as x square since here it is 2 so it will be defined as 2 square that means it will be defined as 4 that means this will be equal to 4 and hence the left hand limit the right hand limit of f at two or two different things and hence limit x approach to two apex does not exist this was the, it's the same example which we took in a limit of function part two and there we understand how this comes out to be 2 and how this comes out to be 4. Now, if we take this g of x function and we look at limit x goes to 2 g of x, then that will be same as limit x goes to 2 of x square minus 4 divided by x minus 2 and that will be same as limit x goes to 2 x minus 2 into x plus 2 divided by x minus 2 because we can write this x square minus 2 square as x minus 2 into x plus 2 by a square minus b square is a minus b into a plus b this and this cancels out so we are left with limit x goes to 2 x plus 2 and that's equal to 2 plus 2 that's equal to 4 so limit x goes to 2 g of x comes out to be equal to 4 and if we look at limit x goes to 2 hx that will come out to be 
just to square plus 2 because hx is defined as x square plus 2 is a polynomial and just 2 square plus 2 that's equal to 2 square is 4 plus 2 that is 6. So out of these three examples what we have observed is that if we take the first function fx then the limit at 2 does not exist even the left hand right uh, limit and the right hand limit exists but the overall limit does not exist as the left hand limit is not equal to right hand limit as far as second function is concerned the function uh, the limit of function at 2 exists but we see that g at 2 is not defined g at 2 is not defined because we see that here we write x not equal to 2 because we see that if we put x equal to 2 here it will be 2 minus 2 that is 0 anything divided by 0 will be undefined and here in the third case we see that this limit at 2 of hx equal to 6 and if we look at h of 2 that will be equal to there it is 2 square plus 2 that will be equal to 4 plus 2 that will be equal to 6 so this example example third which I am encircling here is bit special than the rest two examples in the sense that the first in the, the first part the limit in the first part the limit at 2 does not exist but a function is defined at 2 the second part limit at 2 does exist but then the function is not defined at 2 and here not on the limit or 2 exists but also the function is defined at 2 and we get limit at 2 limit x approach to 2 h of x to be equal to 6 which is same as h of 2 so limit x goes to 2 h of x is same as h of 2 so limit of hx at 2 is same as the function value of h at 2 such functions we call them as nicely behaving functions or we call them as nice functions or nice enough because they behave nicely the function uh, at the point has a definite limit and is equal to the function value at that point such functions are also known as the continuous functions or we call such functions to be continuous at that point so what are continuous functions at a point a at a point here it is 2 if a limit at that point exists the function is defined at that point plus the limit at that point comes out to be equal to the function value so we can now define what do we mean by continuity of a function at a point but before we shall write a definition please note that for continuity at a point these two things are necessary first the limit of a function at a point should exist the function must be defined at the point and then these two has to be equal now when we talk of limit of the function at a point that means the function has to be defined in the neighborhood of the point or in a deleted neighborhood of the point and when we talk of the function value at that point that means the function has to be defined exactly at the point now here is the difference between the uh, well, what we studied in limitus and what we are studying in continuity in limitus the function has to be defined in the deleted neighborhood and in continuity the function has to be defined at that point where we are finding the limits if you combine this and this that means the function has to be defined in the neighborhood of the function where we are studying the continuity including at a point so with this we have the following definition of continuity of a function at a point so here is the definition a function defined in the
So a function defined in neighborhood of a is said to be continuous at a if a limit x approach to a f x equals f of a. So what does that graphically mean? If we have some graph, for example, if we have this as x axis. and this is suppose y axis and suppose that the graph of the function is like this something like this and we have some function a here for a the function must be defined so we will have f of a here now the limit should be equal to the f of a that means the left hand limit limit x approach to a negative when limit when x approach to a negative apex should approach to f of a and when x approach to a positive apex should again approach to f of a that means when we go close to a but to the left of a the function value should get close to f of a and when we go right to a but to the but close to a the function value should again get close to f of a that means at points which are very much near to a just touching a the function value must be touching this f of a and a point is touching to a to the right of a for that the function value must be touching to the to f of a such that the line here small line here at f of a should look like smooth without jumps or without gaps so this should be smooth that is what we call the function that's what we call the function is continuous at the point a so the function is continuous at a point a if its limit exists and is equal to the function value of a at a and graphically if the function is smooth at that point so uh, this it for this video in the next video we shall be coming up with what we mean by saying the function is not continuous at a point a and how does the graph of the function look at that point but for that stay tuned and do not forget to subscribe Thank you.